the pull of the snatch and clean, we want to maintain approximately the same back angle from the starting position to above the knees. We can expect and accept minor shifting of this angle, but the goal is to avoid tipping too far over the bar or bringing the shoulders back behind the bar too early. Think of the first pull as more of a squatting motion than a hip hinge. Push with the legs through the whole foot like you would to stand from a squat, while trying to keep your back at the same angle until you begin the acceleration and hip extension of the second pull above the knee. This helps maintain the proper balance and move you into the optimal position to execute the final upward acceleration of the bar. Don't be confused by lifters using dynamic starts, which can make it appear the back angle is changing dramatically. The actual starting position is right as the bar breaks from the floor. Improve your pulling posture first by always ensuring the best possible posture in all pulls and deadlifts, even if it initially requires reducing the weights or feels slower. You can also add 3 to 5 second eccentrics to any pull or deadlift variation as long as you ensure your positions are correct on the way down. Floating pulls or deadlifts will help you both feel the proper position and strengthen your ability to maintain it as weights increase. Pausing in the floating position will further improve the effectiveness. Segment pulls or deadlifts with 2 to 3 second pauses immediately off the floor and at the knee will strengthen the positions while also making it easier to find the correct positions to hold. Finally, pause squats with maximal upright posture will help develop the leg strength to maintain a more desirable posture in heavy pulls. Greg Everett with Catalyst Athletics here. Please like and share this video. If you appreciate the content, please subscribe to the channel. The more feedback I get from you guys, the more support I get from you guys, the more free content I can keep making. Thank you.